Good afternoon, this is Roger Mitchell from Motiontography here with another tutorial. Um, today we're going to talk about color balance, color cast, um, all that good stuff. So let's jump into Lightroom. Uh, this image was um, from a um, page, Arizona, when I um, did my photography trip back in, I believe, April. Uh, we went out to um, the West Coast, my little brother and myself, for the first time. Epic journey. Um, and this is one of the um, image. This is actually an HDR. Um, I've already merged the um, images, the low, the mid, and the high um, brackets together to get this image right here. Um, if you noticed on my histogram, um, it's well across the board from my highlights here to my shadows, darks, and my mids. Um, usually that's how I, um, you know, how I like it, you know, from the camera, um, especially when doing HDR, uh, make sure that your highlights are not peaking. Uh, make sure your shadows are not too, I always like to get um, details, lots of details in the shadows. So here we start. So first thing first, um, I'm going to jump over to Photoshop. So I'm going to go to photo, edit in Photoshop and edit. Take a few seconds. Okay. So here we are in Photoshop. Now, we're going to talk about color correction. Um, per se, I don't really believe in color correction because usually I, I will add a color cast to 90% of my images. Um, it all depends on the mood and, you know, the end results, what you want it to look like. But um, someone asked me, you know, what's the best way? And I don't know if this is the best way, but this is the way I will do it um, to color correct an image um, right now this image has a slight blue cast over it um, so let's show you how to color correct it as you know as best as um, we can so first things first what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go to this icon right here which is the threshold click on that sorry this one right here And we're going to slide the slider all the way to the left. And if you notice, there's little hints of black. That's your darkest points on the image. If I slide the slider to the right, if you notice that little white spot there, that's the brightest part of the image. So let's start with the shadows. So if I sh slide it all the way over to the left and I go over here to the picker and I'm going to go down to the color sampler tool click on that and you want to make sure you have it three by three average that three by three will give you the mids the highs the lows uh, first things first we are going to make a black point so zoom in and let's find a good spot to get a sample from. So I'll say this is a good spot right here. Go back to the tool, pick a tool. Once you click on that, I'll give you your first point. If you notice, it says one. We're gonna get out and we're gonna slide, go back to the threshold and we're gonna slide it all the way over to the right. And we already noticed there's a white point right there. That's my highest. That's the um, brightest point on the image. So I'm going to zoom in. There we go. Zoom in really good and get that picker tool again. And we're going to click right there. That should be marker number two. If you notice, this has a two there and we're going to get out. So right now, let's close the threshold. So right now, if you notice, there's a one and there's a two. So that's the darkest 
point of the image and that is the brightest part of the image so now we have to get the mid so now to get the mid it's a little different so we're gonna open up a new um layer so the shortcut for opening up a new layer would be the shift command n on a mac um click on okay and what we're going to do is we want to um, make this new layer 50% gray. 50% um, gray, and then we can subtract 50% from the highlights and 50% from the darkest point. So to do this, do so, what we're going to do is go to Edit, Fill, and it already is already there, 50% gray. So I'm going to click on OK, and that's going to give me a 50% gray layer now what we want to do is on this 50 percent gray layer we want to change the blend mode from normal to difference and what difference does it takes fifth it might it subtracts 50 percent from the highlighted and 50 percent from the shadows the darkest point and gives us this weird looking thing so to continue now what we're going to do is reopen the threshold and click on that and we're going to go all the way to the left now remember before our when we did the dark point before this was the dark point right here on one and this was the highlight so you may think if you slide it over to the right a little bit the one should be right here but remember we judging this off the 50 percent gray layer so if we slide it over to the you see it's already up here it already tells us that this right here, the darkest point, which should be somewhere around right there, would be our 50% 50, 50 uh, our midpoint, our gray. So we're going to zoom in. Uh, where is it? Zoom in, and I guess somewhere around here should be fine. So let's put a marker on sample two. Now we're good. So we're going to click on three. And that's the third one and the last one. So if we go out and turn this off and that off, you notice we have our darks, our highlights, and that's our midtones right there. So what we have to do now is to open up a curves layer. Uh, open up a curves layer. And on the curves layer, we have our dark picker, our midtones, and our highlights. So first things first, we're going to select our darks, shadows, and we're going to zoom in. Or you can pretty much, if you want to zoom in, you can. So let's zoom in this a little bit so we can get to that point. So number one was our dark point. Click in the middle and our highlights was number two so we're going to go to the highlight picker click in the center that's that and our midtones will be this one and that was somewhere in the clouds here where are you oh no that's not it oh there it is number three and if we close that and we go out so this is what we've done this is before with that slight blue color cast and this is as close to color correct as you can get using this method um the reason why it's not much of a difference because as i said when i shoot i tend to shoot as close to correct the correct color as possible um so there's very little work like especially for for color correction in posts so i try my best to get it correct in the camera um but if i do it before sorry that's the after that's the before it's notice there's a slight blue cast and that's the after um it was a sunset so obviously it should be a little warmer um so once again before cooler after before after 
before, after. I hope this helps. Um, and it was just a short tutorial showing um, one way of doing a accurate uh, color correction. Hope that helped. And this is Roger Mitchell signing out from Motiontography. You can check out my work at motiontography.com. That's M-O-T-I-O-N-T-O-G-R-A-P-H-Y.com. Thank you.